What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to 4 o'clock and friends. Now we tried to do this on a live stream, but YouTube actually blocked the stream midstream. So if you guys are coming from that live stream, I am so freaking sorry that that happened. And we're going to try to start working things out for us to do more live streams on YouTube that work without getting copyrighted. And then anything that would get copyrighted on YouTube will be live streamed on Twitch. The Twitch link will be in our description below. And then we'll try to re-upload those videos after we've streamed them on Twitch. Then we can post them on YouTube. Either way, guys, thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. If y'all are new to my channel, please smash that sub button and let's get into it. But before we do that, I hope that you guys are having a freaking awesome day. Hopefully this little brief video that y'all are watching of mine is like somewhat just a little happiness in your freaking day. For real, for me to you, I hope you're having a great day. Let's get to this reaction. Three, two, one, boom! His voice is so delicate right there. Yes, dude. Yes, we're living in time at the same time. But come on, do it. Alright, I got a question really quick and then we're gonna back it up. But uh did he write this after um Moonchild came out. This is freaking awesome. I love like the dynamic change between V's verse, his first verse, then his chorus, and then now RM rapping. Like the dynamics are so different and so drastic, but it still flows together perfectly. And I love this. I'm going to go back. Yes, we're living in time at the same time. But come on, don't do it. Go on, young watcher, don't get the satchel, don't cut the soul. Yes, I'm on the same side. Put it in the yard. I said, I'm going to go on in the hand and need a motor set. Where I am. Oh, yeah. I love that melody right there. That's so pretty right there. 
手搭一张马特曼，好大，破的不止，擦大着。I love RM in that vocal range right there. That was beautiful. And I've been trying to really pay attention to like the time signatures here because RM's rap in the second verse, I guess, it felt like it sped the song tempo up a little bit, but it didn't. It's still in that same time signature. So I've been trying to like really pay attention to what's changing in there and how they're making that work. I think RM's maybe double time of that, but it sounds really good. I like it a lot. <laughs> Their styles are so completely different, especially if you start analyzing like RM's rap style. But then whenever RM sang there, freaking beautiful. I love his voice range there. Like I, I know that he kind of plays around in the lower notes a lot, but whenever he sings in that mid to high range, it actually is beautiful. And I really like that side of him. Like I wish he would do that more often. The song, the way the song ended right there, I think I said in the first verse, like in the first parts of the verses that v sings his voice is really fragile maybe frail would be a better word to use there but it's very vulnerable and the song just kind of ends like that there's not like a grand crescendo that like ends this song and i think that that's deliberate and i think that was really interesting i love the lyrics there the imagery of that song makes me feel like i'm in a huge field in my backyard actually we've got a massive field that they hay normally so it's just acres of an open field it makes me feel like being out there at like night and it's snowing and i love that imagery i love that a lot either way guys this next song is friends and i dedicate that to you anybody watching this video right now army bots thank you guys thank y'all so freaking much let's get into that video right now freaking swipe it i freaking love these music like these lyric videos hey, you I love this, yes, heck yeah. <laughs> they dropped that in the song, it's awesome. There are so many good, catchy, freaking melodies in this song. I'm loving this. And, like, I've always said that I would like to hear them sing together. I know I've heard it a couple of times in some songs, but this one is just, like, just them, and it's freaking awesome. And I love how personal this is to these guys, too. That melody in particular. Whew. Oh, 
Aww. Aww, dude, that's so sweet. Oh my god. Love that line. Oh my god. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Dude, that song was freaking perfect for V and Jimin. I absolutely love like how much personal stuff they put into that song. And it's like, they're definitely singing that to each other. I think that's so freaking cool. I love the lyrics to that. I love knowing that backstory. We watched the video of the, the dumpling incident. And like, I like knowing that like that it's seemingly small thing left such an impact on both of those two that they are like writing songs about it later on. And I feel like those type of things build friendships. Like the more stuff that you've gone through together as friends just makes y'all stronger friends, you know? Like I hope that even through their hiatus, they're still in conversation constantly, you know? Like I really hope that they're still talking to each other daily. They freaking, I don't know, man. I absolutely love their friendship. And I love this song, it's so beautiful. There's so many good melodies in here. It was perfect. And guys, for real, thank you. I would like to write a song for y'all one day, okay? Maybe we can co-write a song together and it will be our friendship song. So for real, thank you. But either way, y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Take care of each other. Be kind to one another. And if anybody needs anything at all, all of my socials are at John Reeves Live. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to one another. And I will catch you next time. Freaking toodles! <laughs>